The European Union Biodiversity Strategy for the next 10 years was launched one month ago, on May 2020. Our main goal is to increase the quantity, quality and resilience of European Union's forest. One of the main proposed actions to achieve this goal is to strictly protect all the remaining primary and all growth in European Union. This is a very timely and right strategy because we have very little left. Remaining primary forests represent only 0.7% of Europe's forest area and only half of them or less is strictly protected. As a consequence of this lack of protection, remaining primary and close to natural forests like the Agobiesa forest where I am now or the Carpathian forest or the Scandinavian mountain green belt are quickly disappearing and seriously threatened by forestry. Action should be taken now or we are going to lose forever the last patches of European forests. This primary and all growth forests will not be fully functional and resilient under global environmental change if they are surrounded by an intensively industrially managed forest. We need to reduce the rate of forest degradation, namely tree logging, and forest management should be more ecosystem friendly. Keep in mind that a tree plantation is not a forest. The EU biodiversity strategy is misguided when it promotes the planting of three billion trees without safeguarding and supporting natural forests and their capacity for regeneration. Tree planting has some symbolic and iconic effect, but often it is not an effective solution. Hands-off strategies mostly would result in structurally and biologically richer and more functional forests than simple plantations with a few species. Planting trees can create ecological and economic risks, especially when potentially invasive exotic trees are chosen and when plantlets die back on clear-cut, salvage-locked areas that show extreme microclimatic conditions. Much can be done for developing functional and resilient forest ecosystems, such as supporting their potential for water retention and microclimate regulation. We have to come to grips with the reasons of the failure of the 2020 Biodiversity Goals and the Global Conservation Agenda. We are running out of time. The EU biodiversity strategy must not be another wasted opportunity. We have to make sure that it can be ecologically effective. In the context of forest conservation and development, it has to consider all available ecological evidence. A crucial step and another chance is the development of the EU forest strategy planned for 2021. Let's make use of it.